realize what a fool you are. But you got it coming. You have any idea how dumb you reveal yourself? That thing's gonna feel so fine. Good trip, bro. I feel like I miss when songs like that would drop like every year or so. And there wouldn't be that many of them, you know what I mean? When albums were impactful. Yeah. Yeah, we've talked about Even that. Even singles being impactful. A lot mm-hmm. of singles now, they just come and go so fast. They just drop. Yeah. Um, quick intro. Welcome back to the Brutal View. This is probably gonna be a quicker episode. Uh we're gonna try to bang out an hour, but uh a little, a little special. Yeah, we're kind of in a poker night slash pod day slash Thanksgiving Friendsgiving mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, gonna record real quick. How was your Thanksgiving? It was good, man. It's nice seeing family. Yeah. Um, it's tough when the holidays are stressful, and I'm sure a lot of people can sympathize. You right. know what I mean? Right. Just having to do shit. Being present is one thing. Yeah. Having to cook, having to uh, perform. I was going to ask how – did you have to cook like Big the time. entire thing? Big time. Yeah. 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 It wasn't that bad. I just okay. banged it out. Yeah. I just good. banged it out, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, the turkey came out really good. The turkey this year – I did a lot of studying on on chicken and turkey and apparently uh, – uh, you know, are you familiar with like cooking temperatures at all? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So – um, when, you, <laughs> when you're cooking a turkey, you want the internal temp to be 165. Right. Right? Right. That's for chicken, uh, for poultry in general. But if you get it to 145, 150, 155, and you hold it there for 10 minutes, yeah. it does the same thing. That's what my mom does, yeah. So it kills all the bacteria. So yeah. what I did this year is I got it to 150, 155, 150, and took it out of the oven, let it sit for like an hour and a half. And that shit was hot for a while. And it was very tender, but it was almost too tender. <laughs> it was like very obviously cooked. Yeah, but it, it's different than you normally. It, it was like, yeah, it was like this is juicy as fuck. This yeah. tastes like steak. Yeah, actually, that's really weird. You say that. Yeah, I had a very very similar experience this like, year. Yeah, really, like a few days that's ago, my mother cooked it. Uh, the middle was 145, and it was mm-hmm. like that for like 20 minutes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then about five minutes later, she heard the thing pop because she had one of the popping ones. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it was the juiciest turkey I've ever had in my life. Mm-hmm. And I did not know why. And she's like, I think it was because it was cooking a little lower and longer. And I was like, yeah, but that was like a lot. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> like juicy, lot. right? Yeah, yeah I know. It's weird that you did that too. <laughs> it's like a weird – you don't expect it. Like chicken breast obviously is not supposed to be dry or anything, but most of the time it is. Yeah. But I mean, it's a little yeah. dry. I, I guess you can get a little juices from it, but you don't mm-hmm. expect the juice. You, yeah, like, yeah. you kind of expect it to, yeah. It really did have like the texture of a steak. Like, <laughs> I really don't think there's a better comparison than that. That's like, this, wild to think this about. This shit was fucking good. Yeah. It was very tasty. Do you uh, smother everything in gravy, that type of a? I do personally, yeah. but um, my family, they're not you know, so into gravies. I made an amazing roux. Oh, it was so good. You I did t- personally? Yeah, dude. Oh, nice. I, I made the gravy by scratch. Oh, half bro, my shit by from Raymond's Turkey Farm. <laughs> bro, they make great fucking great stuff. Great shit, yeah. <laughs> that being said, dude, cooking your own stuff is not – I mean as long as you know how to do it, it's not that hard. No, it's not, yeah. You know, to yeah. make gravy, do you know how to make a roux? Not really. I've seen it done, but so, I can't like recite it. So making a gravy is really straightforward. Usually you take some kind of oil or fat. So they use like uh, uh, some kind of cooking oil or they use butter. Personally, I use the turkey fat leftover, put it in a pan, put a bunch of flour. And you want the flour to brown because you want it to cook out. And then you put chicken stock. Okay. So, so that's what I did. Yeah, that sounds Straight good. up. And it was delicious. Yeah. It was fucking spectacular. I didn't do anything special. <laughs> yeah. It was, that was it. That you sounds bomb. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, it was pretty cool. Yeah. So I got to eat that stuff and then I went to my mom's house. She had a a pure Dominican spread. Yeah. Like we had shrimp and pork okay. and rice, everything but turkey. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> did you have to do any of that prep? You no, 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 no. Okay, my mom nice. did it all, thank God. My That's mom and my grandma were there. Yeah. Uh, but it was nice. That was nice. You know, I, I, I really did enjoy it. 
I do like to cook, although yeah. I'm complaining. But how about you? Uh, uh, you went to your mom's house. She cooked. Yeah. Um, I mean, I had a great time. I showed up there because like they said they were going to do it around like one. So I just showed up hella early so I could just chill with them for a while, you know? Yeah. Watched a bunch of movies and shit. Chopped it up with them. It was nice seeing them. Um, it's just it's still weird to me not seeing my entire family because my whole family won't get together now because there's not a centralized place everyone can go. Mm, used they be, used to be? Yeah. My grandmother's yeah. and she she's like, nah, fuck you guys. COVID peace out stay Facts. away from which me. is how you should do exactly it. Yeah. yeah like don't come here and we're you like that new variant bro yep yeah the decepticon uh, omnicron yeah <laughs> i said the same shit. i said yo it sounds like a decepticon yeah it does. it does yeah it almost sounds like a joke but yeah no we're all you know we're gonna die sooner or later probably sooner yeah we're all gonna die anyways i think sooner rather we're all than gonna later. fucking die yeah that's gonna be fun planet's gonna murder us i've been watching movies like that recently um about dying the, the planet uh, fuck what was it called like 2012 the day the earth stood through with uh, Keanu Reeves so I've never seen it aliens are sent to earth okay and cool. they're and they're going to wipe the humans out because earth is one of a few planets in the solar system that can support complex life and they're like humans are fucking it up you guys are destroying it so we're gonna take you all out and then they have to try to convince the aliens not to do it like we can change all that bullshit is that really what the movie's about I, I swear to god yeah. that's cheesy as fuck yeah it was one of the first ones that did it though it was is like is it good it, it, it's good because it was like oh six you know what i mean it was one of those uh, original ones once that. that one did it like all those ideas were corny as fuck they yeah. did it too like hard but there were a couple of them that was like there was a, a shit ton of them that's how that. movies are like there are themes for movies yeah. you know what i mean like right. we don't get silly comedies like we used to not like the adam no. sandler movies yeah god dude that's not just, that's just not in we need a good seth rogan movie in my opinion he Dude, he's gonna come out with some the interview the interview is amazing a classic fucking movie yeah what a fucking classic ain't no for a second i don't know yeah facts i don't know why i feel like movies or writers aren't coming up with original ideas anymore and i don't know if it's because they're younger or if maybe everything's just been done that it's like hard to think of new shit uh, i don't know a little bit of both i'm sure when's the last time you saw a movie that was like the funniest movie you can remember in a while like oh you know what i mean I actually, yeah, recently, Bad Trip with Eric Andre. Oh, that was Hilarious. a really good movie. Hilarious. That was. See, I, I don't know if that would hit that, dude. that high point for me, though. It was up really? there. It was up there, but. I watched it with my dad, and we were baked <laughs> out of our minds, yeah. dude. Yeah. And it was fucking really funny, dude. I definitely, I think I watched that movie drunk, but I wasn't that drunk, so it was, like, hilarious. Like, it was yeah, so funny. Yeah, the movie's so good, dude. I feel like the night before... That was one of Seth Rogen's like 2017 the or 2018 What's movie. that? I've never heard of that. It's amazing. Um, I pull up a preview, but I don't want to set the shit up on my TV. But it's him, good, Anthony Mackie, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Mm. They like go around New York celebrating because like one's Jewish, one's Christian. You haven't seen that movie? No. Nah. Oh my God. Watch yeah. that movie. It's a really good movie. Yeah. Um, before before uh, Masks. Yes. It's kind of weird watching a movie or seeing something and not seeing any masks. Yeah. It's kind of like a normal part of life now. Well, I, since I just saw it, I, I watched Hawkeye. I guess that is kind of the same feeling because yeah. they're kind of in the same time. Line. Hawkeye, the new the new one? Yeah, like the Disney series the show? that just came out. It yeah. kind of looks whack. Dude, it's it's kind of a fun watch. It's actually like better than I thought is it was going to be. Is it canon? What's it about? I don't even... Well, it's Hawkeye, but yeah. after he was Ronin and murdered people for five years. So it's not the... Ronin? Well... I don't want it to it be is Ronin. technically Ronan, but yeah, I mean, yeah. it's about Ronan, so you should watch it. it well, I mean, Ronan was cool. It's not like don't kill yourself to watch a type of thing. I wouldn't say it's that good, but it's fun. You, like if you want to throw something on. You seen this movie, Taken? Of course. Taken is uh <laughs> That's another one of those movies. What a strange concept. Yeah. Late like like forties, fifties, dude. Old man saves his hot young teenage daughter from an overseas terrorist. Yeah. Single handedly. Yeah. He's like Baba Yaga. It's Liam Neeson. Like, yeah, Obi Wan Kenobi. They're like, hey, we got a good movie idea. We think you'd fit the role. Dude, like, like, <laughs> <I was> like <laughs> I, that movie, the first time I watched it, I'm like, oh, that was a good movie. And then I thought about it. Yeah. Like, that movie is kind of like over the top. It's a bit, uh, it's a, a lot. It's, it's a, a lot, lot, dude. Yeah. Those movies where one single guy takes out a million guys. I mean, John Wick does it the best. Yeah. Because by the end of all the movies, he's in tatters. Yeah. He's, I love how he gets fucked up in those He movies. is like, ripped realistic. two shreds. Yeah. Like, he is not doing well by the right. end of those movies. Right. But in fucking. 
Yeah, Liam dude. Neeson, he just fucking kicks ass. I'm guessing like Taken 2 and Taken 3. I haven't seen him. I'm sure it's the same shit though. It's the exact same movie. Really? Repeated two times. Is it the same guy, same daughter? It's – they just switch up family members, dude. Then it's the wife. Then it's him. It's really? really? It's really bad, dude. It's like really, That's really awful, bad. That's awful, dude. Yeah, it's that like sounds so fucking bad. awful, dude. Yeah. Liam Neeson, somebody's going to rape your daughter repeatedly with <laughs> her friend and you have to save her. Nah, let that, leave that bitch. That's another movie though that set like a trend like that because then sh- a fuck ton of other movies came out just like it. It's like this is catering to a, a very specific demographic. Yeah, I mean – Middle-aged fathers. Yeah, a hundred percent. Older, older fathers. I feel like those movies do incredibly good overseas, dude. Action movies like that. Yeah, they do. They do insanely good. American action movies is a is definitely a genre. Yeah. Have you seen Arcane yet? No, right. No, you told me to watch dude, the League of yeah, Legends thing, right? The League of Legends show. I watched yeah. the first episode. It was really good. I watched uh, the first episode of What If when Aaron uh, Peggy Carter becomes Captain America. Oh, that was okay. It, it was, wasn't all that. Not bad. It didn't make me want to watch the second episode. Have you seen any others? No, I watched there, clips. That's it. There are some really good ones. I've been told. I'd skip. I'd skip a, most of them though. Okay. <laughs> if I were you. Is there anyone you'd recommend if I would just went to go watch one? A hundred percent. The one with Doctor Strange was the best. Okay, one, I'll look for that one. Amazing. Doctor Strange is probably my favorite superhero. One of my favorites out of, out of all of them. Yeah. And. Uh, um, it's basically an alternate timeline where he turns evil. We'll just put it like that. Fuck yeah. There's and a good it's comic spin on that. Powerful. Like, yeah. I, I won't spoil it. I kind of do want to spoil it. I'm going to spoil it a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to spoil there, it a little a bit. Scene, <laughs> there's a scene in that, sh- in that episode where he comes across a sto- the soul stone and it's nothing to him. Like, for him, he's like, I'm way more powerful than that. Like, it doesn't oh, even. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's like, he's like I'm point, beyond this. <laughs> he is dimension. Like, he can rule dimensions. Yeah. Get to that point. And I mean, it's. Evil. It's really fucking good. It's good they're making him that strong because yeah. I feel like when that movie first came out, just it's Doctor supposed Strange. To be that strong. Like I was like, damn, that movie was fucking crazy. I can't wait for like another one. But you didn't really see him again until we're gonna see the new one, dude. Right? I really right. want to watch the fucking new one, bro. The Spider Man trailer. Did you see the new so one? So good, dude. The, so all the Spider Man. I, I, I think Venom's in it. Like they're yeah. all. I didn't know they're not in the Spider Man in the trailer, but you could see the enemies like swinging and shit. That's clearly edited out. So yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure all the Spider Man are in it. They're it's gonna be wild, dude. I can't wait to see how Doctor Strange plays. And he's like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah. It's like Rick and Morty. I've already said this, but it's like Rick and Morty. Rick yeah. Rick and Morty vibes. Um, Rick and Morty's phenomenal show. You beat your meat to anything crazy this week, bro? Yeah. Did yeah. You really? That I was did. a very quick response. I didn't even have to think about it. Yeah, no, it was something dark and twisted. Really? Huh? Yep. Wow. I'm going to say it right now. Ready? Do you got a, do you got a, a, do you have porn saved in your phone? And not like, I don't save the videos, but I save links. Oh, I've definitely titles. saved a link before, but you know what I mean? no, I did no. that like ten years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a link saved. Yeah, I got a I got a list of hentai. You want some, dude? No. Let me send them to you. Yeah, yeah. Let me send them to you. I feel like we've Check talked about this before. Yeah, yeah. Let's. <laughs> just, he's like, yeah, just come on. Did it? I actually <laughs> look. I sent one to my friend. I sent it to my friend, and he's like, oh, that's a really good top tier shit, dude. Yeah, but does your friend like hentai? Hentai? Hente. Oh yeah, yeah, he's into it. <laughs> yeah, so he's I mean, like, I've seen them all. I've seen them all. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, I sent it to you. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I was actually. We'll come back to this next. Uh, <laughs> next week on the bro- next week. How were those nuts? <laughs> Tell me. I wasn't actually gonna say uh, something. I looked up. I was gonna try to say something fucked up, but just bleep it out so it seemed like to the audience that I said something really dark. But okay. I actually couldn't freestyle anything. I'm kind of. I was kind of drawing a blank. My mind wasn't. Okay. I just went, yeah. You know, middle of that. You sent me an image. I thought someone fucking. No, 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 no. I, I, I just sent you fucking head time, bro. <laughs> nice, thanks, man. Um, Can you pronounce any? Oh no, you got your list. Yeah, well, we're gonna hit some t- topics. Hit me with it. Hit topics. me with it. Topics. What do you got? Um. Okay. Do you have any thoughts? And I don't think we've had a, an actual discussion about this on the pod mm. about Leonardo DiCaprio never going above twenty-five-year-old girlfriends. I mean. He likes what he likes, bro, and he's a great actor. And So, like, we need to play it. one of these out because how do you think it happens, right? I have theories. On do how, you think, what, he gets the girl? Well, f- just give me a sec. Okay. okay a, okay, okay. the girl 
is under the impression that he wants a relationship and they all just happen to end is on their 25th birthdays Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or Mm -hmm. B he advertises it as such when you're 25, it's done. (laughs) I'm sure sure it's the first thing that you said where, because I'm sure it's subconscious. Like as they get older in age, Leo's just like, I'm less and less into you. You know what I mean? I kind of feel like a part of him is like, yeah, I'm not looking for long-term shit. We're just going to do this for a little bit and then I'm out. Um, I don't, I he hope ha- not. If Who anyone knows? can do I, it though, like – It'd be him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's yeah. people of that level that can do that and get away with it. I feel like he might be one of them. I can see it. But you if think it, it's – Either way. Yeah, I think it's the first thing though. Yeah. I think that you know the longer it goes, he's just like less and less into it and it just falls apart usually. Yeah. That's what I can imagine. Who knows? He's like 46 or something, right? He's older than that. He's in his 50s by now, I'm pretty what? sure. What? Is yeah. he really? Yeah. Jesus. He's old and fat. No, fat, but he's a chunker. Yeah, he's getting up Definitely there. Definitely not skinnier than me. That new movie that's coming out on Netflix with him and Jennifer Lawrence looks really fucking good. Oh, where he's like out of shape in it, right? Yeah. Like he he's looks like, like kinda, a normal He's like a little ad. bigger. Like he's pudgy. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and he's like a scientist in that. And he's playing like a, a wimpy weirdo. And he yeah. normally doesn't have that role. So you're mm-hmm. like, wow, this is going to be... Different. Interesting, yeah. Jonah Hill was like the president. I was like, this is going to be the weirdest I movie. I love Jonah Hill. Right? Love, there's a website, Is Jonah Hill Fat? <laughs> and it's updated every day. Wow. I don't think he is. You want to find out? Yeah. And here's your weekly update on Is Jonah Hill is Fat? Is Jonah Hill Fat? Episode 73. <laughs> I really hope it's just like a yes or no answer. <laughs> like, is jo- Yeah, it is. Really? <laughs> yeah. Is Jonah Hill Fat? Current status, Johani Tsunami. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think they're just shitting on Jonah Hill. <laughs> Johani Tsunami. This, this is, is Jonah Hill fat right now? So I think he's chubby? I, yeah, I don't know if I'd call that fat. I guess he's, yeah, it looks worse because he's in that suit, I think. I yeah, don't think that's doing, him, I don't that's, think that's doing him favors. He's just like an older guy now. Yeah. He's that's got like a, a, a chunky dad bod though. It's not like... You wouldn't call it like obese, I guess. Maybe that's how. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. Who knows? Do you think um, in order for – this is going to sound really fucked up. I don't mm. know why my brain went here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Say like a guy has a condition or a girl has a condition where mm. their shit just constantly stinks really, really bad. Like his dick always smells like fish or her pussy always smells like fish. Okay. Or something worse. I don't know. Mold or trash. <laughs> Sure. Do you think the only way they can be with someone is if, like, the other person has, like, a really weak sense of smell? Some people are into smells. What Some people are smell really that's into just, smells. like, really one that you can't be into, though. No, no. People, <laughs> people are into everything. Everything, though. yeah. You, so you just got to find someone who's really into... There are people that are into garbage. Yeah. There are people that are into how shit smells. Well, I know... Yeah, there's a lot people of like people get their not their rocks off, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. Doesn't matter what it is, bro. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like that that'd be hard to find. But do you know anyone that that's into smells like that? Like I don't know anyone um, that's. I mean, I've talked to people that really don't like any smells, and I've yeah. talked to people that you know like a stinkier thing. I don't know. Not specifically, I guess. But, dude, oh, I was going to say something. Oh, no, I got it. Dude, I was gonna say did you know so that stupid. girls, when girls look at guys, not like universally, but apparently this is the thing. Girls will look at guys and think to themselves, oh, he's peggable for sure. Yeah, wow. That, that's not where I expected that to dude, go. Dude, I saw, I saw a post on, I think it was on Reddit or no, on Instagram, something with like 70,000 likes. And it was like, do girls look at boys and think, oh, yeah, that's peggable? Okay, I saw that on Twitter. So that, Was it on Twitter? That went around. That went was, around. It might have been on dude. a bunch of shit. Yeah, but, yeah. You know? I think that's what it was. And they're like, absolutely. Yeah, I saw like, a lot of replies too. But actually, Haley said something like that to me recently. She told you that you were peggable? No, no, no. Not <laughs> We were talking about Haley, it. Haley, your friend's girlfriend <laughs> told you you were peggable. That's nice. We were just talking. The subject came up somehow when I was out to eat with her and fucking Jake. Yeah. And then she was like, yeah, like I, like a lot of girls like that shit. Like it just came up like that. Like, That's strange. And I was like, wow, okay. You don't get any like, benefit. I, girl, you don't even get enough from that. Maybe it's a power thing. I get it though. I, it's I a don't. Power thing. I don't get it at Hitting all. Hitting it from behind is a power, bro. It's a power move. 
It's probably okay, right. so the girl wants to be dominant in those situations. I think so. I think she that's what wants it is. to. I'm pretty sure it's fuck you it. in the ass. Yeah, yeah, literally, bro, <laughs> literally. Wow. Um, I mean, and I've been told recently that I have a cute butt. I was told recently by this girl. She's like, you have a really cute little butt. I was like, thanks. And I'm realizing now she just meant that she, she wants would to fuck peg, you. She would peg me in the ass. Yeah. That's so now it's not, up, dude. Now it's a different type of because I always say like if a girl wants to fuck a guy, like I just mean like them having yeah. sex. But now it actually sounds now like it means she's going I'm to fuck the guy. The yeah, that's kind. I, I kind of I didn't consent to that. Yeah, I I didn't consent to being pegged. How long in a relationship until you're open to that type of a conversation? To pegging? Yeah. Like, oh, a couple months. <laughs> you're like minutes <laughs> um, i'm not i'm not into stuff in my ass i really don't yeah, think i like that's stuff what in my me ass. and jake were talking about that i was like nah i'm sorry but i'm like, not even a finger it. it's just not me it's i don't i don't i'm not cool with it for some reason bro can i admit i think i've talked to this yeah about, we've I, talked about this a little bit about my childhood trauma maybe uh, have we talked you want to talk not? about my childhood trauma i got childhood trauma okay let's I go to it childhood let's take a deep dive and it's not what you'd expect okay dude. you ready Sure. I don't think I've ever told you this. I don't know. Are you ready to say this on the pod? Yeah, it's not that heavy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to sound heavy. Just because <laughs> exactly the buildup is intense. Dude, dude, dude. No, no, no. Dude, it's not that heavy. It's not that fucking heavy. Beep, beep, beep. Dude, so like as a kid, I had really bad digestive problems. Okay. Really bad. Like I would not shit for days and have really bad stomach aches. So regularly as a kid, my mom would just give me enemas, bro. Because I never wanted to give them to myself. So my mom would like put That's enemas That's definitely into my traumatizing. Ass. Definitely. And I'm talking three, four, five, six, maybe up, up until like six, seven, eight years old. Like I was, no, maybe even Damn, longer, like young, nine, maybe even like, no, maybe like, I'm going to say six, seven, eight. Maybe yeah, like eight, like, eight might be pushing it. Yeah. Oh, I feel – damn, that's young. God. So like I, I was almost have, thinking you'd say like you were like 10, 11, 12-ish when this would start. Those, you were young. I was young, bro. That. I would get weekly enemas, bro. And you guys didn't consult the doctor about it? Yeah. P- no, absolutely it was consulted with the doctor. And they advised? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So enema – you know what an enema is? I do. Yes. I'm very familiar. So there are multiple kinds of enemas. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there are multiple enemas. So there are enemas that you put in as a pill. Yeah. It's like a wax – that you put it in and it just dissolves in your intestines. There's also an enema that goes in. It's a bottle. It looks like a like a like a. I'd say a tube, kind of. I don't know. Like a tube. It's liquid. Yeah. It's a liquid, and it has a nozzle, and it goes in your ass, and it squirts it into your ass. Yes. <laughs> I've had both, uh, multiple times. Oh god. I'm gonna say at Jesus least Christ. fifty times each. Holy hell. Yeah, yeah. It was really rough. For you sure you want time. me to keep that in, bro? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Right. And literally, like I, like, I had a medical condition when I was a child. Yeah, but right. I'm not embarrassed by it. Okay. You know what I mean? So <laughs> Jesus Christ. But dude, 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 I, I don't like stuff in my ass. Well, yeah. So I was gonna say, so I would almost don't fucking like it. That didn't really traumatize you too bad then, because the converse effect would have been that you are obsessed with having things in your ass. That, I guess, yeah. That would have been the. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I knew it was necessary. I just never wanted. I was like, Mom, again, and she's like, Yep, it's time for your. Enema. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. So I had a talk recently. I won't ask my boys, but I have a couple of friends I was talking to and now we were talking about pegging and I was like, would you get pegged? And they were like, yeah. One of them was like, yes, I'm into that. Just out in the open. Like, I, yeah, I, I am them. into that. Yes. Yeah. And I'm like, really? And then I don't like, know how I'd react I like, if, I don't know if I'd react if someone said that to me. You know, people that like stuff in their ass. What if Eric said that to you? I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know if I'd have much of a reaction. I probably would shit on him for it a little bit, but I probably why would you shit on him? But he likes stuff in his ass. Why would you be? That's not shit that's on a, him. I would laugh on uh, on un, effect. I'd be, like, be like, "Wait, are you serious?" Exactly. I'd be like, a, <laughs> "I'd be like, all right," and I'd be like, "I can't tell if you're kidding now." And he's like, "No, you know no, what I'm I mean? not kidding." Yeah. So I, I I wouldn't like bag him for it. I wouldn't roast him for it. That's I'm, fucked up, dude. It depends on the you're situation. Kink shaming right now. If dude. this if if a good joke came up, you know, I would take it. I'd take it and and according to Twitter, you are. In the minority, <laughs> yeah. according to Twitter. Come bro. on, you wouldn't do that though. I would joke on my. Gay I, I'd, jo- I'd definitely joke on my. Friends. Yeah. But, but actually, actually, no. I actually take that back. No, I wouldn't because I have a really, really close friend that said that he's into stuff in his ass. Yeah, and I did not make one joke. 
Because it's not it, – it's kink shaming. That's my boy. Yeah. If you like well, stuff in his yeah. ass, that's okay. Like I don't that. mean just like berating him for it. I just mean if like – I never made a joke ever. If you happen to just and be I'm like, oh, like, guy. oh, I sat on something hard. It'd be like, wouldn't have been the first time. Like if that type of a thing came up. Yeah, but that's never come up. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> – But if it did, sure. You know what I if mean? Those scenarios sure, sure, present sure, sure. themselves. That's yeah, what I'm yeah. talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If he's like, oh, I just got something in my ass. I'm like, yeah. I bet it wasn't the last thing you've had in your ass in 24 right. hours. Yeah. You know, like maybe. I guess. You're like, okay, all right. But hopefully the room a little chuckle but dude i have uh and a couple of my boys one of my boys is like i'm into it and a couple of my other boys are like i'd be willing to yeah. give it a shot yeah and i'm like good for you guys i don't think i ever want something i i if i'm with a girl she's like i really want to peg you i'm like i guess we could, <laughs> You're like, we could work something out. we could try it it has to be really small yeah and you have to like be really nice about right, it. Right. There has to be countdowns. There has to be gentle like all that shit. yeah exactly <laughs> i have to have a safe word and I, I don't know. I don't really. Have you ever had to have a safe word in sex so far? Um, Not have to have to, but like. Well, I guess have you used yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, like, I, 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 I use like handcuffs sounds... and like ties and shit and you don't need a oh, safe word. Oh, I didn't word. use safe word in those scenarios. But yeah, it, it's nice to have one. Yeah. You know. I mean, there was a time when I had a belt and. Safe word would have helped. Would have helped. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure it would have. Been there, done that. That chair was under me too, and I just. I'm oh, kidding! You know I'm kidding. I, I have. Ooh, it went dark. That chair was. Hmm, that chair was deep in me too. <laughs> and bro, bro, I actually, it's it's funny that you mentioned that. I've definitely have used a safe word before. Because I'm into scratching, and there's one time she was scratching me up bad. I'm like, ooh, you need to relax. Well, I'm pretty good at making it known that like the sex is over. I guess so. I don't really need huh? a safe word. Because that's what the safe word's for. Like no, stop not. type of thing. No, the safe word is for like, you're hurting me, you're crossing my line, my boundary, and you're making me uncomfortable. It doesn't mean yeah, stop I'll the sex. I'll just say that. It means stop that thing. I'll probably Don't... just say that sentence, though. Instead of the safe word, you know. Um, I feel – listen, man. Listen, man. When, <laughs> I don't when know. you're in the heat – listen, man. <laughs> listen, man. When you're in the heat, all right, and you got toys and tools and people can get hurt, their feelings hurt, physically hurt. Just saying like pineapple, you know. It might like, make it easier. It, well, guess. it's a shocking thing. It, it's like because when you're – dude, I, I don't know if you've ever had sex where it's like it's rough and you're talking shit to each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, like I've had some really like rough, dirty shit. And like yeah. her yeah. saying stop wouldn't make me stop because that's part of it. Yeah. So having a safe word is – oh, okay, like it's it's like the break. Well, like, I've okay, had cool. that <laughs> – this is going to sound I mean? dark. I don't know if we should stay on this. I've had that sex where stop was could be said two different ways, and I knew which one was which. I'll say that. I understand. I understand. So I guess that's why well, I you're just, trying I've to never keep things used playful. I'm, yeah, we, that's the whole point of a safe. Word. Okay. You're to, yeah. It's to not stop the sex. You don't want to stop the act. I feel like I'd use a safe word more with someone I didn't know that well. I guess I would sure. say that. That's where I'd use. Sure. A safe Been word. there, done that too. Yeah. yeah. I absolutely. think most of the situations where one wasn't really needed, I guess. So I was wondering if I don't know. Like you've been like up on like <laughs> the hanging chains type of thing. Oh, I'd like, be I feel down. like that type of shit. Would I'd be, be down. Be like, All right, dude. safe words are good here. Let's yeah, for let's sure, get something sure. going. Yeah. Um, God, we went such a left but, uh, into sex shit. Well, dude, girls are into pegging, yeah. and apparently, when girls do, girls look at ass. When yeah. I'm when you're buying a pair of jeans, do you look at your own ass? I look at my ass for sure. Do you look? No. I, I, I have ask. before, but I don't normally. I definitely. Um, I you have to. You have to see how it looks back there because sometimes you get a pair of jeans that just doesn't doesn't hug your ass the right way. It looks like a flat board. Honestly, girls are into boys' ass. I don't know why. Yeah, they no, they are. It's a they very are. yeah. That's a very popular thing. My mm -hmm. ex has told me that before. Like, I guess Twitter really blew that type of shit up, but. I just thought they were yeah. crazy, but no, they like – it was all consistent. They're, They're like, like, no, all girls. Like, like they that. like a yeah. boy's ass. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't get it. I guess same thing for us. They probably – I don't know if they understand or yeah. not, but – Would you get pegged? No, definitely not. Why not? Nowhere near. What if you're with a girl? She's like, I really want to do it. Like, she's like, listen, like, you got to be open-minded for me. I really want to do it. Like, come yeah, on. Yeah, no. Come on, Sean. I, there's unfortunately no wiggle room on that one for me. That's That's where it ends. Oh, medically? I, mean, yeah, I guess that too yeah I, I didn't even think of that no i just meant like, I'm like medically could you like not like sexually that's where i get uncomfortable that's the line have you tried it uh no i've had a doctor stick a finger in my ass that's different i hated it it was Listen, terrifying tonight go pull up some hentai that i sent you all right and go what you up... want me to sit on my thumb 
Uh, <laughs> you got a pencil? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so much worse. You got a pencil and some cooking oil or some oh, wrestling? Oh, you, you, you figure it out real quick, bro. Yeah. Figure it out real fucking quick, bro. All right. Well, then that's what I'll recap next week. Right in the intro, we'll just start off with uh, some really heavy you get shit. Your, your anal adventures. All right. Yeah. yeah well, that's Fuck. Did we curse in the first 10 minutes of this? We definitely did. We definitely fucking did. Yeah. One yeah. day we'll we'll try that and see. Look, no one fucking They're not going to make a difference. Cares. But I guess the recommended videos on the side, that's what that – effects and the algorithms that's what i was seeing so our video doesn't pop up that much because we fucking curse so unless they're watching videos where people are v- yeah. vulgar as ours which yeah. isn't a lot of people you know like i know your mom's house fans but nasa and i think mr musk was a part of it mr musk um the muskiest they have, they have a anti what was it called anti-bezos anti- they have a planetary defense system they have missiles that they can now launch into space to interrupt asteroids from hitting the planet. Planetary defense system. We are in the future. To an extent. There, we're not there yet. No, we're there. There's, if there's a big enough asteroid, it'll destroy the Earth and we're fucked. Well, that's actually what I wanted to bring up. So yeah. they have an asteroid that's going to hit Earth next February or it's projected to hit somewhere near Earth next February. Yeah, I'd say one of those every year, bro. It's and it's like, apparently not like Earth devastating big, but it, it's big enough to hit something, you know? So they're shooting a missile at it. And they're going to be like, yeah, this this is our test. This is our initial thing to it. So I was like, word, that's kind of cool. There's supposed to be something like that in like 2018, 2019. Really? Like California. Yeah, they're like, there's going to be an asteroid. If the math is correct, it's going to hit California. This shit never happens. Yeah. Because by the time an asteroid penetrates, by the time an asteroid gets close enough that it's a problem, I mean, we're still a year, two, three, four, five, six years out. Well, until yeah. It the that that science is getting better. You yeah. know, it's not like getting that much better, but they're getting better. Who knows, man? They're getting closer. Who knows? I just feel like it's cool that they NASA officially uh, announced, like, a name something. Like, there's a whole article on their website. It's mm-hmm. like the Planetary Defense System. Yeah, I'm like, pretty, that sounds badass. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you know? I could use something like that for my ass. <laughs> or you could, rather, so nothing gets close. Like, she tries to come close. Like, she tries to sneak up on you when you're in the shower. <sighs> Missile. Blows up the dildo. Blows up the dildo? Mm-hmm. Oh, that... So no it's like it's like something you uh, it's like a belt you wear all the time, and it watches your ass. So you're in the shower, you bend over, pick up the soap. Your girlfriend tries to penetrate you from behind because you know that's what she does. Or he? Hi, I don't judge. Yeah, right. It'd be easier if it were he. Yeah, you know. Um, that's fucked up. And the uh, uh, a missile launches and blows up whatever it is. So you don't want it to be a real penis because it'll it'll destroy it. We'll call it a chastity belt. Because that's literally a chastity you're belt protecting your asshole. Let's get a chastity belt with a wire, with one wire running down your ass crack, with a wire, with a big nail coming out of your asshole. That's okay, it. that's the whole belt. I like that. So, what do you have to poop? Do you have to actually take the whole thing off and then? Well, you gotta probably do it anyways. Decent, yeah, you gotta do it anyways. You should make a poop compartment at that point. You know, like a poop something. compartment to hold it. No, to hold it. I meant it, if you. To hold your poops? You need to shit so that you don't have to take it off. You can just open a lever and then <laughs> shit there. If you're on a first date with a girl yeah. and you're out okay. and you have to take a shit, are you going to hold it in or do it? You're going to take that shit. Ooh, boy. This is a good question. I'm taking that shit. And I'm How tell- much? I'm telling her too. Do I really like this girl? Yes. Then I'm taking the shit. And you're going to tell her? Yeah. I'll be like, I got to drop the deuce. I'm, like, I'm sorry. This is weird because it's our first date. But uh, I gotta take a shit. My so stomach bad. is just—it feels really shitty right now, and I need to go to. Is the Is that bathroom. how you do it? Yeah, I, I, I kind of believe you. I need to go to the restroom. I'm feeling really upset to my stomach. Uh, I shouldn't be long. I'm very sorry. I'll be back. <laughs> go in the bathroom, I'm start like, praying, listen. and then. <laughs> yeah, blow that shit up, dude. I'd be like, listen, I'm really sorry. I gotta take a shit. <laughs> yeah, I'd say just say that I gotta okay. take a shit, and no. all right, I'll be back in a couple minutes. And she she laugh and be like, oh my god, you're so funny. Let me suck your dick. Why you're shitting? Would you get a blumpkin? <sighs> <laughs> we always go into some gross shit. Gross, dude. Blumpkin is when you get a blowjob when you're taking a shit. Yep, and taking a dump. I don't know, man. I don't think I'd be into it. I wouldn't either. I, I don't, don't know if I could stay hard while pooping. Oh, you definitely can. You've never been hard while you take a shit? No. Yeah. You have? Yeah. Absolutely. Not all the time and not even, not frequently, but I definitely have. But occasionally? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So how does that happen? It's, what do you like? It's just an erection, the one of many. So is, are you jerking off and you have to shit? No, 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 no. I'm just, 
Because I need to take a shit. Gotta take a shit. And I'm you have fully an, erect. To have an erection. <laughs> <laughs> and then I finish my shit. I'm still fully erect. I put it away and go back to my business. So wait, your dick I'm just is like, just kind of sitting. It's just no. I'm just like, oh, I'm erect right now. Your, your thing is just a soldier. Ten hut while you're <laughs> taking a shit. Ten shit. I'm like, just I don't call you here, soldier. Back to yeah. Addie's. Because I my toilet's fucking small in there. I can't. I can barely keep my dick in when it's soft. Taking yeah, a shit. I, I've never had an erection in your bathroom. So imagine. I'm guessing you don't stick it in the hole while you're hard because you got to be like leaning over um, pretty decently. I, I, it depends, man. Unless you have a big toilet, I guess. Sometimes you shove it in there, bro. Hard? I feel like that's uncomfortable, wouldn't it? You, you dip it in the water. I kind of like the way the water feels in my dick. The poop water? <laughs> <laughs> don't you love when your dick touches the edge of the toilet seat? I don't. That's the best I'm feeling, not a fan. isn't it? No. It's the best. It's like cold and slimy Yo, and that gross. that ever happened to you at a urinal at a public place? Gross, dude. Bro. Yes. Yes. I, I, I showered like pretty soon after mm-hmm. that. Like I was scared. Like I wanted to put Germex on my dick. Like, you ever put syphilis, Germex on your dick? I feel like. No. I feel like that yeah, would hurt. Either. That would hurt. Soap hurts on your penis. So soap? Yeah. Well, if you got it in in the urethra, in the urethra, that yeah. ever happened to you? Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. That hurts bad. Yeah. Also, being hard in the shower because <laughs> how else would it get in the urethra? That's true. So you know what I mean. That's true. Or you're, unless you're in a bath and you're just I don't know that would be a weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. We we can get off this. Sure. We were uh, we have a lot of things that we didn't talk about. Do you want to just say like really simple things about them and not get too dark or deep? And I swear to God, if you start with Kyle Rittenhouse, other than Astro that, World, what? There's no updates. Who cares? People died. Yeah, a lot of people died. Like nine, ten. Yeah, yeah. Because they got trampled to death. We talked about this. Not on the pod. Yeah, we did. I don't think so. Like two weeks ago. Yeah. What did we say? I don't think we talked about yeah, this. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I don't. Th- I think we talked off mic about this. Did we? Yeah. yeah. yeah what did we a- say off mic? I don't even remember. I'm pretty sure we talked. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we talked about it on the pod. I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, Astro World was a fucking nightmare, dude. People died. And it sucked. I've been to concerts and I've had. I've been pushed around before. So right. Yeah. Scary. I've been in mosh pits that got pretty intense. You know. Have any idea how dumb you reveal yourself? That thing's gonna feel so fine.